Then it says in 46, not that any man has seen the Father, save he which is of God, he has seen the Father. Blessed he that believes and has not seen it. Amen. Amen. It's something because a lot of things that Jesus did back then in that day, we have seen it, but we believe it. Amen. Some people have seen it, but we'll go to walk by faith. Amen. We'll go to believe the report of the Lord. Right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now let's go to St. John 6 and 59. Then I'm going to get out of the way. Y'all stay with me now. Amen. Now this is Jesus preaching hard at this hill. And look what the disciples are going to say after they sit there and heard what the Lord has said. 59. Uh, St. John 6 and 59. 6th Six chapter. 59th verse. I'm trying to go too fast. So God, I want you to see it. I just don't want to sit up here and preach. You don't know what I'm preaching about. Amen. You may hear good and everything, but you still need to see it sometimes. Amen. St. John 6 and 59. It said, These things said he in the synagogue. He was in preaching. And that way he was in the church and preaching. And as he taught in Capernaum, mm -hmm. many therefore of his disciples, look what he said, his own disciples, I know that were followers of Christ. When they heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can hear? Well, the only disciples said, Jesus, you're preaching too hard. Uh, uh. Jesus, you put too many stipulations on the word. You, you put too many cakes and dudes on the word now. And then they come to the clue. They said, now who can hear this? This is a holy live this life. This is a hard sin. Mm -hmm. And ain't folks still doing the same thing? Because nobody comes to call folks choose what church they want to go to. They choose what church they want to be in. But when they come to preaching the holiness and telling you right, sometimes it's few. Because folks don't want to do what's right. And they always put in their mind, this is a hard stipulation. This is a hard, hard thing. Who can live like this? Look what Jesus talked to his own disciples. His own disciples said this. When Jesus, the sixth verse, knew in himself, that his disciples were wrong. Church folk. Church folk sitting there don't believe in preaching. Church folk sitting there don't want to be a holy. Don't want to be a righteous. But they want to skip and, and jump in every now and then. Go do what they want to do every now and then. But when it just comes to give a out holy, they think it's too hard. And Jesus said that he heard them mother. And it said, he said unto them, Do it this offend you? Mm. No. Uh, Oh, shot. Because I sit here and teach and preach sound doctrine to you, and you think it ain't the time to preach it? You think it ain't the place to preach it? Huh? But the Word of God tells us to preach the Word of God in season and out of season. Amen. But in your mind, you're saying it's the wrong time. Amen. So you go, did you say, do this offend you because I preach the truth to you and tell you the truth? Look what it said. My God, six and seven verse. What shall, and now Jesus and I, there's a question. What, and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascending up where he was before, my God, which they did in the book of Acts, why he men standing here gazing up, he said this same, Jesus, that you see in the light mouth shall come up and come back again. Mm. Huh? Amen. They saw it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Jesus. He prophesied to Jordan. And the sixth and third verse, look what it said. It built the spirit that quickened. Uh -huh. And the flesh, my God, profit nothing. Huh? So the words, my God, that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. You can live if you receive the word of God. You can live if you receive the spirit of God. Amen. Uh, I want more to But look what Jesus said. But there are some of you that believe not. Don't want to change. But you want to stay the way you is and think you're going to get in the heaven. Huh? But the Bible said, in heaven, I'm a hope. Now the hallowed shall be there. Huh? It shall be called the way of holy hope. And nothing on the outside going to escape and come up there. Mm -hmm. You got to get Christ, and then you got to start living righteous before Him, and you got to live holy before Him. Amen. Don't think you're going to heaven in other words. No thief, no robber, no murder, no liar is going up to heaven. Amen. My God, that's the word. Amen. But for some of you, believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who it was. He won't close the He already knew. 
It's who they were that believed not and who should betray him. And he said, therefore I said unto you, that no man here go again. Huh? These being repetitious, Jesus said again, that no man can come unto me, what? Except what? For my father. He was saying, you shall know them by their fruit. Anybody that you fellowship with and get around with, if you stay around long enough, you find out what's happening. Amen. Amen. You find out they're perpetrating the what? I don't care how gifted they is or what they're doing, what they're preaching. They don't live holy, they don't help you do it. Amen. They're just gifted. Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. They're covered out in pencil. You got a lot of them out there. A lot of them are flashing wide open out here now. Some of them are apostles, some of them evangelists, some of them ministers and everything. Some running too quick and running too fast, but you won't live holy. Mm -hmm. My God. This is not if it said, except it was given to me of my father. Uh, six, six. It's from that time, look what happened. Y'all wouldn't read. So I read From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Now you see why I'm all in that big crowd? Open one year home. But they decided they're going to serve Jesus in their own way. If I serve the Lord, I'm going to serve him my way. They were one way. Live holy. Amen. He said, Be ye holy, for I am holy. You're going to serve the Lord and live holy. Live righteous and holy before the Lord. Amen. But people pick and choose where they want to be and what they want to do. Huh? We too small for them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Huh? And Amen. then we get burned on a fellow. Lock it down. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Amen. Huh? Oh, now, Preaching the truth is something yeah, else. Amen. Uh, so every now and then, the Lord will satisfy my spirit. He says, Stop worrying about folks. Come on. He said, I'm going to see who will, who come, who won't come. When they do come, they'll love the world. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Look what he said here. No man can come to the Father. Yes, Look what Jesus said. Except my Father. That's what I'm saying. So when, we, when folk come and want to be taught the word and have the word with God, help I do that. Amen. I love you and I love you to the end. Amen. But I'm going to teach the truth. I'm going to preach the truth. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. There's a lot of responsibility that the church itself has to do when it comes to churches like us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Small churches. Amen. And sometimes they'll think that we're not intellectual enough to Amen. get on their level. Come on. Yes. In other words, they'll say things like, my God is God for you. You don't have to worry about falling. But God gave them the responsibility, amen, to help those churches. Amen. Not to sit back and tell them, amen, we're going to pray for you. Mm -hmm. uh, the word of God said, we don't need your prayer. We need your help. Yes, yes. I know. Shut up. Yes, I, yes. Soup, that's the yes. word. How? Put the Lord God self in you. He you see your brother and something in need. And my God, you share your bowel of compassion. Talking about you going to pray for us. Yes. God, we don't need your prayer. We need your help. Yes. Yes. You are called by God. And if you are called by the Father in the heaven, you will help your people. The word of God said, they that are rich ought to be ready to give in the spirit. And help the poor. Yes. Amen. 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 That's the word. Amen. Jesus. Word of God, right? Sometimes we can go ahead and do better than folks do that they should that they all do. Amen. 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 I tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm almost through that time. They don't walk away from the word. And they won't even do it. So what Jesus gonna say again now? Then they stop you from teaching the Lord said. Then then said Jesus unto them the twelve. Your father, church for all put them away, church for. When he got the few. Mm -hmm. Look that no few don't want to stay together. Mm -hmm. We ain't got but fruit. You know what I'm saying? Amen. And look what Jesus said. And Jesus didn't say Jesus unto the twelve. Will you also go away? Oh. You don't know, find another purpose now to do what you're going to do and stuff. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. When help is needed. Look what Jesus is going to say. Then Simon Peter asked him, Lord, who shall we go? And what's so bad about it? They were blind. The, 11, the other 11 apostles were blind to the uh, Jewish. Mm -hmm. Didn't know Jesus was going to betray him. Jesus, he prophesied the whole time. Right there, say, sit around and wonder who's going to betray you and everything. Well, I'm going to be with you no more. I ain't going to be with you here. You know what Jesus said? But they couldn't see. Couldn't see. Oh, we followers of Christ. Go with Jesus. Then Simon Peter asked him, said, Lord, well, who shall we go? 
God has the word of eternal life. You already teaching us right. You telling us right. What are we gonna do? Amen. Look what the neighbor said. And and we believe and are, are sure that thou art the Christ. You know you are the Christ. We know that you are the Son of God of the living God. Amen. Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen twelve of you and one of you the devil? Jesus. Mm -hmm. He said that praying to them. Yes. Huh? Not saying nobody here the devil. Mm -hmm. But he said that praying to his disciples. They couldn't even see. Didn't even know Jesus. Uh, Jesus was going to do what he said he's going to do. But look what Jesus said to him. And his spate of Judas. How you pronounce that? Iscariot. Iscariot. The son of, of Simon. It's for he knew it was that should betray him and be in one of the twelve. Jesus knew that when the disciples didn't even know. It played right out. Didn't they don't know until it actually played out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I guess the moral of the story, God's word don't go out for mm -hmm. the Then for you to be saved. Mm -hmm. He wants you saved. You don't want your loss. You got to be warm enough to ask the Lord to save you. Mm -hmm. I got to be mad enough to ask the Lord to save you. You're going to come to his throne in the Bible and say, come with both of us. Amen. I, it takes a woman that wants to get on this journey and say, Lord, save me. Huh? You got to deny yourself. You got to pick up your own cross. That means everything you got to go through. As long as you got Jesus. On your side, mm -hmm. what God tells you can go through. Amen. God, Amen. God will give you some good saints of God that will help you, will be there for you, not talk about you and put you down, because all of us going to go through things. Amen. And if you ain't going through things, just keep living, you will go through it. Amen. But Amen. get in the place that you are in a seat. You will love one another. Yes. You will yes. make suffocation for one another. Yes. You will have that love, that hot, perfect love for mm -hmm. one another. Instead yeah. of talking about them and seeing them do them wrong, see the good in them. Yeah. Amen. And right. pray that they come up in the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Saints, I love you all. The word of God do not go out for us. And one of the greatest things we have to do after I'm finished preaching the word, if you are not saved, you need to be saved. Amen. And then not only that, you take a chance to not give your life to the Lord. Don't overstep the day of grace. Amen. Let me see the hands you know what that means. Amen. Don't no overstep in their grave. That means don't, don't mess right him down in sin. Mm -hmm. Because after you hear the word, death can come in. I'm not trying to scare you now. It will try to destroy you in the form of fashion. Meaning overstepping, it was too late. You had your chance. But how many chances will you get? We don't know. That's in God and his mercy is us. He can do it forever. Amen. But his word don't go out for. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I love you. Y'all pray my shrink in the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.